Greetings, gents. I'm Joe Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. Today we're not going to talk about shaving. We're going to talk about something different. What if I told you you could add Apple CarPlay and a reverse camera to your older vehicle that doesn't already have those? And this will work on just about any vehicle. All it needs is a cigarette lighter and a radio will help. <laughs> and I think most all of our vehicles will have that. This product they sent to me to do a review and I was very happy to do a review on this product because I have an older vehicle, it happens to be a Jeep Wrangler, great for winter, a lot of fun to drive, a big spare tire, big rear seat, uh, headrests, very difficult to see behind you looking in the rear view mirror. I put in LED lights, I tried to brighten things up and it is super bright back there. When you switch to reverse and the LED lights come on, bam, it's very bright back there. You still can't see over that spare tire that's mounted and the headrests are in the way, you can flip those down, but you don't always want to be flipping those down. So you have a very limited view on that particular vehicle. I thought it would be great if I could add a reverse camera and if I got Apple CarPlay in the vehicle to boot, that's a big plus. So this company reached out, they sent me this product and I told them I would install it. I searched around online trying to find some information on the backup camera, the reverse camera, and there was just about nothing. Even the owner's manual that comes with it, they don't cover installing the backup camera. So I will now go over some of the functions of the Car P Ride. I'll show it installed in my Jeep up in front by the radio, actually in front of the radio, taking the place of the radio. And then I will show you how I mounted my camera to the spare tire mount and then ran the cable from the camera all the way to the front of the vehicle. Stick around, watch the entire video, and you'll see how it's done. Let's get to work. Here's the box that the Carpy Ride came in. It came with a couple of these mounts, which I did not use. This is a suction cup mount that can go to your windshield and then extend out and hold the Carpy Ride unit. Here is a double sticky type mount that does the same thing. You can stick this on your dashboard. I did not use that either. And then it also came with a sticky plate, a base. You can stick this down or screw this down anywhere and then attach this mount here directly to it. I did not use that either. Here's the instructions, which are a little bit helpful, but not that great. The 9-inch unit that they sent me, it has the phone link, so CarPlay for Android or iPhone. FM transmitting, 1080p high definition screen. It will accept an SD card. So your memory card from your camera, you can put right in there. It has the rear view camera, which is what I really wanted. Also has voice controls, auxiliary input, and it will accept the USB as well. These are the connections for the Carpure Ride on the side of the unit. The far left is the 12 volt power that plugs into the cigarette lighter. Next to that is a USB port. Next to that is an AV out port. And then you have the angle pin plug for the camera, which I have plugged in. Next to that is a memory card slot, TF. Next to that is a microphone slot. You can also plug a microphone into it. Just turn the key. You'll see the Carpa Ride powers up automatically from your cigarette lighter. Takes a minute to boot up. I have it set up where I have it working through my aux port. So I do have to do this every time I get in the car. I have to go to the media button and press it and just make sure that it goes to aux and then the Carpure Ride features will work. The way I attach the unit, I feel like it looks the best. The brackets had it blocking my windshield or sticking out too far. I didn't like that, so I got some heavy duty Velcro that holds about 10 pounds and just mounted it right to the dash like that. I have one side of the Velcro on the back of the screen and the other side is mounted on here, which you can remove this very easily if you needed to. And I mounted it directly in front of my radio screen so it doesn't block my dashboard view. I get a great view of you know everything above the dashboard outside to the front of the car. And then you have all of your features, phone, music, maps, messages, now playing, car home, whatever other apps you have on your phone, they'll show up right here. Here's the other features, iPlay, A-Auto, AirPlay, AutoLink, EQ, Bluetooth, you can set it up through Bluetooth, you can set it up through aux. You can set it up through your FM transmitter. You can run a USB card into the side or an SD memory card. 
into the side and view those on the screen as well. So it's got a lot of cool features on it. Let's see what the maps look like. Here you go. Your program home and work will show up. You can search, put in destinations. So it works pretty much the way it does on your phone, only it's showing up on the screen. I can use Spotify. I could use any of my other apps to listen to music or podcasts. My favorite part of this is the reverse camera. If you put the vehicle in reverse, it will override whatever setting you have on the screen and it will show up very responsive. It comes up in about one or two seconds, which is great. There's no lag time. I'll take you through some of the features of the car pure ride. If you want to get to the home screen of the car pure ride, just press this, press home. A auto, this is for your wireless connection. I'm not going to go through how to set all this up. This is in the instructions. Here's your AirPlay. If you just want to play it through Wi-Fi, you can use that. Here's Auto Link. This is if you want to go wired and plug it into the aux. Here's your EQ if you want to tweak the settings on your radio so it sounds better. Bluetooth, you will need to set this up to get this to work. It's very easy to pair, it's in the instructions. If you have a USB card, you would just plug it into the side and you can view that. If you have a memory card, an SD card, also plug it into the side and view that. You can transmit through FM through your radio. What you need to do is turn this on, choose one of the stations, and then set your radio to that particular station and you'll be able to listen through the radio. Back home settings. You have language. You can set your language to whichever you please. The device speaker, right drive, restore factory settings, system version. Here's your Android wired link, iPhone wired link. So if you have the Android, you'll use this. I have the iPlay, so I use this. And then here's my Wi-Fi. I was very happy to have the camera feature on this. This is what I really wanted about this car pure ride. So you have a video warning. You can turn that on and off. You have a park line. This will turn the parking settings on and off, the vertical lines that help you back up into a spot. Here's the park line setting. You can actually adjust these by touching this and dragging it over, like so. You can, you can move these closer or further as needed, like that. And then here's your rear camera mirror. If you want to mirror it, just hit that. And here's your two lines for parking. You put those inside of the white lines on the parking spot, and that'll put you directly in the middle of a spot. So it's really nice. It's 1080p. It's a nice high definition view. So it works very well at nighttime as well. It has LEDs around the rear camera, around the perimeter in a circle. They'll light up and you'll be able to see very well at nighttime as well. And none of the other videos that I watched online that I checked out about the car pure ride, nobody showed the video camera, nobody showed it hooked up, and nobody explained how to hook it up. So I thought I would go ahead and do that. I have a more in-depth video on how to run the wiring from the back to the front, and I'll post a link to that up above. You can check that out. This is a little bracket that I fabricated from a metal part that I purchased from Menards. I sprayed it with a rust inhibitor and then about six coats of paint so it's not going to rust through and it's going to go right up here. It'll mount right up here and show through at the 12 o'clock position of the spare tire. Here's what the bracket and the camera look like when they're mounted without the spare tire in place. Here's a look at the actual camera mounted in the 12 o'clock position on the spare tire. I have it directly under the valve stem for the tire. I'll show you what the camera looks like from the back while it's in reverse. Emergency brake up. You can see the way the LEDs light up to illuminate the area behind you and give you a very good view of whatever is behind you at nighttime or in low light conditions. We'll back up into a space and I'll show you how the lines in the camera work. You can see the parking lines right here and you can adjust these like I said. We're going to back right into this spot. 
So put those lines directly in between the center lines that are on the pavement and that will put you perfectly in the spot you need to be. Keep backing up and when you get to the red area here, you're far enough right there. That's it. So these are awesome. The camera mounts up there so it goes through the tailgate. It comes through this portion right here this pops off and then there's the two wires right here the black and red then it goes through and splices into the reverse light so when you put the vehicle in a reverse the camera will be activated these are the wire splicing terminals I use to tap into the reverse camera right there I use the red ones all you do is wrap this one around the wire and then this one taps onto the wire and slides into the other one it inserts, inserts right into it and you can remove it if you need to which is really nice. So the red and black are the two wires that tied into the reverse light and then this black wire is the one that goes from the camera all the way to the front of the vehicle. So it came from the camera right here, right there, through the spare tire right there and then through this wire loom. This is a Jeep Wrangler so it's pretty easy to disassemble these parts it's kind of snapped to fit so this came apart the wire came through here down through here the wheel well along the bottom then around to the other side and so it came out here by the rear seat and I just hugged this corner this trim all the way down to the bottom and then through this portion here into the front seat area along the base plate here I did have to remove this I had a plastic trim removal kit so I was able to just pop these little black rivets here they pop right out with the proper tool and then to the front up here this is the front door right here so I came underneath the mat underneath the carpeting it does come up through here there's the wire the carpet just tucks right under the shroud here and that's it finished that wire plugs into the camera port on the left side of the screen. All right, I'm back. This Carpy Ride product, I added it to my vehicle, my older vehicle, and it was able to give me reverse camera and Apple CarPlay. That Apple CarPlay works right off of my phone. The reverse camera, every time I click it into reverse, I see exactly what's behind me. Feel much safer driving. Don't have to try looking over the spare tire anymore, past the rear seat headrests, any of that. So to me it's a great improvement, a great add-on for my vehicle. And this will work on just about any vehicle as long as it has a radio and a cigarette lighter. You can plug this in and make it work. You will have to tie in the camera to the reverse lights and then run the cable from the back all the way to the front and also into the screen. Just click down below where it says more or show more. There will be links down there for everything used in the video. If you have any questions just drop a comment down below. I'll be happy to answer whatever I can. Please do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, share my videos with your friends, greatly appreciated. Over 500 videos now, shaving and more. Thank you very much for watching. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. have a great shave, have a great day. Uh oh, looks like I have a four o'clock shadow. Gotta go to ShaveNation.com. Have a great shave, have a great day.